education remains the fundamental tool to alleviate poverty in most African communities and in Ghana, Tech Aid, a technology social enterprise, has come up with a different solution to deliver educational content to rural schools using new technology. VOS Paul Ndiho has more. Having access to a library in most parts of Africa can be a challenge, but in Ghana it just got easier. Thanks to Tech Aid, a technology social enterprise that has developed e-solutions to tackle some of the country's continuing education challenges. Kafui Prebi is one of the brains behind Tech Aid. We have developed products specifically for education, and we've been in this space for close to 10 years, um, delivering technology solutions in education and supporting rural development. And two of our key products that we've developed over the period is EduLab, which is our education computing solution for schools, mm. and with the latest one, which is Asanka, which is a content delivery system. As the country becomes more connected to the internet, educators and publishers are finding new ways to reach young audiences and their developing minds. Many students have never experienced the world through reading because they don't have access to a library. But Tech Aid is changing this reality. When you talk about schools, are you talking about uh, rural schools or you're talking about urban uh, schools? The focus has always been rural schools to start with okay. because my passion has always been to bridge the digital divide. Mm -hmm. You know, um, as a UNICT fellow from 2001, my onshin of my life was how to bring technology into schools. Tech Aid has built over 70 edu labs in rural areas where funding teachers and resources as scarce. The technology is not free to schools, but Tech Aid has partnered with IBM Corporate Service Corps, Ghana's Ministry of Education, and several banks to provide funding. Lately, we've started to create a tripartite kind of relationship in Ghana between Tech Aid, the schools, and the banks, mm. where the banks provide access to funds for the schools to be able to access the technologies that are required to improve mm. teaching and learning in schools. Kafui Prebi says that through their programs, the students can access approved educational content, including audio, video, and interactive games, and with IBM's pro bono consulting program, they have been able to take this initiative to the next level. Gina Tesla, IBM's Director for Corporate Citizenship and Corporate Affairs, says Ghana has long been a launchpad for innovative collaboration, making it logical for IBM to partner with a tech aid in Ghana. What we want to do is to help provide the highest skills um, possible to help solve some of, um, some of the world's most pressing challenges. To date, IBM's Corporate Service Corps and TechAid are working very closely together to support girls education under the later Girls Learn Initiative, launched by a former U.S. President Barack Obama and Michelle Obama in 2015. The whole premise is to help support um, greater access to education for adolescent girls. Mm -hmm. There are at least 62 million girls worldwide, uh, adolescent girls worldwide, who are not receiving education. The Tech Aid's solution to deliver educational content in rural areas has potential to be replicated in many African countries. Tech Aid has its sights set on another innovative idea called Asanka which means community ball. It's a collection of important content for everyone to access. Paul Ndiho, VOA News, Washington.